hello everyone and welcome back sorry that i sound really congested i think i have a, a head cold um i just wanted to come on and make a little video about why i haven't really been posting as much at the moment um I'll, as a lot of you know i have been back at work and yeah um, we were back for the first weekend properly like we did the induction weekend um not last weekend but the week before and then the next again weekend we started back but it was saturday sunday monday we were in um and it just killed me pretty much like knackered me so much um which sucks because there's those people who work the same time and they're all still being able to go out and do things and it's just really frustrating so while I was here and I know I look like a mess and I'm wearing my kind of I feel shit kind of hoodie this is the hoodie that I wear when I feel like crap um but yeah so I wanted to come on and kind of explain why I you know also apart from being at work what has caused me not to be filming as much and to be posting as much obviously work is a main thing because even though I work at the weekend it does tire me out and things like that but that's not the main reason the main reason is and you know I have explained before that I do suffer with IBS but I've not made a video explaining how that affects me so today we're going to talk about it um so I do apologize if I'm not my usual self um well on Monday I was back at work and on the Saturday beforehand I had another panic attack and it was just not great but I had been really sleep deprived for the past four days, like the four days in a row. Um, and I think just because the guy at the train station wasn't very helpful because the machine print took my money but never printed off the ticket. So I was like sleep deprived, got emotional and then obviously with wearing a mask and everything it was all kind of linked in to me then having one. But it was okay, like it wasn't anything too drastic. But then on Monday I was going into work and my, well, my dad dropped me in and we were in the we were literally just pulling in I was like I need to go I need to go like I'm gonna have an accident like I need to go like my stomach was cramping so bad and I literally had to run into work and it was awful because you obviously have to stop to like hand sanitize your hands which is fine but when you need to go like you need to go and I just wanted to make this video to kind of break down the stigma of like bowel conditions um, I understand that they are a bit too much information and you don't really want to hear a lot of these things but you know specifically this it's kind of like interfering with my life right now and I think it's important to talk about it so oh I just knocked that sorry so that other people can understand because I was speaking to a few people and not a lot of people had heard what it is so IBS stands for irritable bowel syndrome. There is no known cause of what causes IBS. There is also no cure for IBS. Um, you know, changing up your diet, taking medication, like they can only manage it. They can't like take it away. Like it can't be cured. Like, so that's the frustrating part. Like there is no cure for this. Um, and I just had really bad flare-ups of my IBS the past like couple of days like I had it on Monday and then again on Tuesday um, and then on the Wednesday I literally sorry I had a crusty bit in my eye um, had been showered but I must have forgot that part um, you know like yeah so on the Wednesday like I literally slept all day because I was in so much pain um, because like what it what it like so yeah so like IBS is I know I'm getting distracted I'm just making wanting to make sure that I catch all my points and I just feel really awful with it already so like it's not very helpful trying to think so apologies for that um so yeah it does differ between person to person like not every person has it exactly the same so you know you get stomach cramps you can have like diarrhea like constipation bloating um like trapped wind or just lots of wind <laughs> um I just blanked there sorry it can make you really tired and like fatigued and interfere like you know it can make you need the bathroom all of a sudden which seems to happen to me quite a lot there's been one time thankfully I was at Greg's house though but because he only has one bathroom and his brother went for a bath 
like, because I don't know all the time when I need to, like, go, like, to the bathroom and then out of nowhere I was like, fudge, like, I'm gonna have an accident. And it's embarrassing to talk about that because you don't want to be like, oh yeah, look, I'm like nearly like had an accident and like, that's not really something you really want to talk about, you know? But it is the case for a few, quite a lot of people, especially if you're not near a bathroom or near somewhere that has extra. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's very inconvenient and it seems to happen a lot when if I get excited about things or if I'm maybe stressed about things, like it can maybe like cause it to flare up a bit. Um, it's just very inconvenient for sure. Um, but this is the worst it's ever been and it's kind of just interfered with me. Like I've been sleeping a lot like this morning. I literally woke up at eight o'clock, but I kept falling asleep and then waking back up again. And I just finally got up at like 12. Um, and I just put on my like, I feel rubbish clothes. So, I'm not even fully dressed like this is just like this and then I have the jam bottoms on but it's, it's good though because I have my grandma and I don't think she would mind me saying this but she also suffers with it too so it's nice that she understands because sometimes when you talk to people they're like oh like just I don't know like eat something else or I don't know like it's just get a grip or I'm sure it's fine or oh, you, I'm sure you don't even have IBS and it's just like but like would you say that to someone who had like something else that was similar like you know what I mean like it's just very frustrating um so I need to phone the doctors today and get more medication because I don't have any but that's also why I don't eat dairy um or a lot of it like sometimes because I really like some things that are dairy like I'll try to have some of it like in little amounts but even at that it can really irritate my gut and it's not fun at all. So I try not to eat much of that. I noticed that red meat irritates my like my stomach. So I don't eat meat at all um, just because of that. And it's just, it's really frustrating and tiring having to be so conscious of what you eat, especially when I was someone who had an eating disorder that focused on what I ate beforehand. So it's not really ideal to be having to really like also be very cautious of what I eat because it might irritate my gut. Um, but I think it flared up more because the un the bit we don't like to talk about, the not being able to go to the bathroom, that was happening for like a really long time and it was so painful. Like I kept getting pain like everywhere. It was just so pa uncomfortable. And because of my history with eating disorder, no one likes to give me laxatives in case I like use them inappropriately. So I'm trying to find all this food to help and nothing was really helping and it's just, it's just very exhausting. Um, so yeah, I do apologise that I haven't um, been posting as much. I've just been literally so exhausted this week. I haven't even, this is like the one video I've recorded that will probably go up in the next couple of days. Um, I have another video that... I don't know if it will go up before this one or after this one, probably after, because then it would make more sense. Um, but I recorded that a few weeks ago and um, more of my videos are coming out on Pixel Crunch that you know that I'm doing videos for their channel as well. Um, I'll post their, their, cha like their channel in the description so that you can check out the videos on there too. Um, they're just coming out more so now. <coughs> Sorry. They're just coming out more so now, so like we'll be able to see more of the other videos that I have like mass recorded for there. Um, but no, I do still have a lot of ideas, um, and I do still want to get into recording and stuff again. But when it, this happens, it's just a bit more difficult. So I hope you guys can understand for those who enjoy watching my videos every week. Videos might be a bit temperamental when it gets flared up because it's just it's really exhausting at times sometimes like even if it flares up like it won't be this bad like it'll be okay but it's very temperamental and I just don't know how it's gonna play out um so yeah just like bear with me like I will still be getting videos out um, and if you have any suggestions or like any ideas of any videos that you would like me to do like please feel free to like leave them in the comments um 
or send me a message on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or anything like that um, I'm sure I will do them and get back to you for sure um, so sorry that this video was really like also my voice sounds awful I think I have a head cold so that's fun on top of everything else um, but no this video is quite like more of a, a serious video like because it is something that you know affects a lot of people and people get embarrassed to talk about it like I certainly do like you know I'm kind of like oh I don't really know how to explain why I've just run past that person not really said hi because I have to go to the bathroom because I might have an accident um so yeah it's not really ideal but it's something that needs to be spoken about more for sure um hopefully I can maybe make a better video when I'm feeling a bit better but I just wanted to kind of explain why I have been a bit quieter on social media in general and haven't really been posting anything um so just a mixture between anxiety and but mainly IBS like the IBS has been so awful this week I've not slept so much in a really long time and I still feel so exhausted but also probably because I've been sleeping a lot it's not really helped but it's like that type of tired where you can't keep your eyes open and you're like so yeah I'm gonna like post this video probably today and today is the 10th of July so I'll probably get this video up today probably I don't even know if I'll edit it this that much I don't really know if there is much to be edited um I just feel like this video is quite just it's better to be like kind of have it as more transparent without the editing um but I don't know like we'll see but I'd probably just put you know the intro the end screen and that sort of thing in and just leave it as it is um but yeah I really want to get back into doing videos again and I also saw that with phase three that we're going into in Scotland that couples who don't live together could possibly like see each other without social di without social distancing and can stay over and stuff like that so that's exciting and um, I'll be able to see Greg again and if you would like to see Greg in videos again I know that I think he's kind of keen to be back in videos after he saw how well the first one he was in was received I think he quite liked the fact that his video was doing really well but if you'd like to see him in more videos and would have any challenges or video ideas for us we have a couple that we want to do together so um we can definitely try those ones out as well but if, yeah if you have any ideas or suggestions or anything that you would like to see me as an individual do or me with greg do then definitely let me know i will be very grateful for your suggestions um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i know it's not like my usual cheery happy self um but i know that you'll understand why um but i hope this video was inform information oh, what's the word oh i don't know in infor inform informal i don't know it was like had the good points and things i don't know i'm gonna go school because i can't even talk honestly my words have been all jumbled lately and it's just so exhausting even not being able to talk properly honestly sometimes i don't even know if you would understand you would even know that my first language was english because i can't even english half the time um but yeah so i'm gonna go now but thank you for watching this video and i really hope you understand but i really do hope to be making videos more often again because I love making videos they make me really happy and I kind of just feels like it's the only thing I have to look forward to at the moment because you know like acting things aren't as frequent and things so yeah I feel like when I'm talking because my guitar's here it keeps making like a dung and I'm like oh no but I also have been trying to learn the guitar too it's really hard though but yeah so yeah I'm gonna stop now but yeah, I'll speak to you, see you guys later. Bye.